to deliver the convocation address. Dr. Wong. Chancellor Anna Sandberg, and deepest thanks to you, Vice Chair of the Board, Principal Eva Murubu, Dean Chandra Madramudri, faculty, family and friends, and most of all, fellow graduates. Thank you for the honor of inviting me to be a part of this important day. Congratulations. Felicitations. As we say in many parts of Africa, Tahania, Honjera, Dalwalu, Ekushe, you have much to be proud of. You have all earned a degree from a fine university one of the best in the world. This is an important and significant achievement. The world you're about to enter is very different from the one I stepped into so many years ago. The headlines speak of financial crisis, alarming unemployment, and political instability. But you have two key attributes that will help you thrive in this world. You have fine minds and a fine education. Use your knowledge, apply it, and share it. And not only will you do good for yourselves, you will contribute to making the world a better place. Let me tell you a little story. It's entitled, My Bucket of Water. Where I come from in Nigeria, there's a saying that when you go to the stream to fetch water, your bucket will only be filled with the water that is yours. No one can take the water that is yours. Life will give you what you deserve, nothing more, nothing less. But first, you must walk to the stream, bend down, and dip your bucket. Walking to the stream is not always easy. When I was younger, much younger than you are today, I thought I would never get there. My father at the time was a traveling teacher. The year I finished elementary school, my family moved three times, and I had to wait another year before I could start high school. And then, just when I seemed to be back on the path to higher education, war broke out. The Biafran War that ravaged my country is even today a synonym for horror and atrocity. Three years went by before I finally made it into a university campus. I was 23 years old. My peers had graduated the year before, well ahead of me. Yet, I too reached this tree, and my bucket is certainly not empty. What this stream gave me has made my life rich and fulfilling. It has taken time and perseverance, a few stumbles, a few falls, but never totally down and always with a sense of satisfaction. And this is the best advice I can offer you. Do something that gives you satisfaction. Your work will occupy most of your waking hours. If it does not give you satisfaction, no matter how rich you may become, you will not feel happy. Your bucket will feel half empty. As a research scientist, it gave me joy when my papers were accepted for publication. I enjoyed sharing what I had discovered. So be sure, 
someone learns something from you and comes to know how to do it better than you did. In other words, pass it on. Knowledge is a gift that grows only when it is shared. Today, 40 years after graduating from the University of Ibadan, I enjoy a different kind of knowledge sharing. My greatest joy is going to rural communities to sit down with the women, men, and children who live there. In various countries on different continents, in remote regions of the developing world, in places not found in most maps, I have seen people empowered to transform their lives with the support of the agency I now work for, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. When I spoke before about satisfaction, I meant the feeling I get when I hear people talk about how they can now eat two or even three meals a day, how their children can now go to school, or how it is that they have a new clinic down the road. It takes so little to change so much in people's lives. The secret, though, is to remember that development is not something we do to people, but something they do for themselves. Whether you are planning a career as a scientist, a researcher, or in development, remember to listen and to respect the opinions of the people in the communities where you work. They may not have had the same opportunities as you, but their knowledge of the land and local conditions is far deeper than that of development workers who parachute in for a few weeks or months. These people know what they need. Our job is to help them to get it. If you want your work to transform lives, you need sometimes to look up from your desk and apply the same rigor of thought and understanding to the social dimension of local communities that you hope to serve. If you can do this, your work will take root. And although you may not know it, the benefits would last long after you have left, like a footprint in the sands of time. Lives will have been transformed in the process. Your own life will be transformed as well as you come to know the joy of bringing happiness into the lives of others. And that is when you yourself will come to know true happiness. These are the stories that bring joy to my life and make me realize every day that my bucket is certainly not empty. And perhaps it is much more than half full. I wish you every success as you follow your path to this tree. Remember, you must bend down, dip your bucket to collect your water. Asefe, quand vous avez trouvé, il faut la partager avec votre communauté. Je vous remercie. En une fois de plus, félicitations. Thank you.